If you're a brand new seller and you have that just launched message on your underneath your storefront name, you can absolutely get sales. Now in this video, I'm going to explain why and how you can generate sales on Amazon, even if you're brand new. What is up online retailers? If you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Mike Roscoe and I teach people on how to start, build, and grow their own online retail company, also commonly known as Amazon FBA Wholesale. Now in this business model, you're simply buying big name brand products, popular name brand products at a lower cost from suppliers that have the legal rights to sell these brands and selling them at a higher price and profiting. Now, for those of you who do not know what big name brands means, it's simply selling products like Sony, Microsoft, Nintendo, uh, Procter & Gamble, Disney, all those huge brands. And that's the business model that I teach. It's the best, best business model and it's the most sustainable business model. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to generate sales on Amazon and why you're going to be able to generate sales on Amazon if, even if you're a brand new account now. If you haven't seen my video on how to win the buy box and what is the buy box, before you even watch this video, make sure to watch that. I'll put a link right above. So you need to understand how that works, but simply this is what the buy box is. It's the add to cart button. Um, when customers come to shop, they simply just click that button and whoever the seller is right here will get the sale, all right? That is if they don't go under, on, under other sellers but most of the time, I think it's over 80% of the sales. I don't know what the exact number is now, but most of the time the sellers just simply just click add to cart because they think Amazon sells everything. So a majority of the sales on Amazon come from the buy box. Now, for those of you who do not know, the buy box rotates among sellers if they meet a certain criteria. If they have a professional account, if they sell new, and typically when they match the price of the buy box, okay? now. For those of you, I'm going to give you an example. I came across this and I realized somebody was messaging me on actually multiple people were saying, oh, what if I'm brand new? How am I supposed to get sales? All this. So I want to make a video on it, but it's a little bit new of a setup here. There's a right column over here uh, rather than going to the separate page. But as you can see, the current buy box is at 1598 right here. And I'm just going to click other sellers. And you're going to scroll down and you're going to see a seller that has just launched under here. Now, this doesn't matter. This certain product has a buy box and as do a majority of listings on Amazon. But what's going to happen is if this right now, the seller is not typically not going to make the sale unless obviously a customer comes in and clicks on this and they say, oh, I want to buy from this person add to cart but like I said they have to meet a certain criteria which is have a professional account sell FBA and match the current buy box price now if that was the case this person that is at 1598 will share the buy box with that just launched seller now if that's the case the just launched seller is going to get sales on this product now i saw they only had one in stock so i don't think they're looking to share the buy box i don't know what price they got it at or what the case is of that seller i don't know the seller personally i just ran across it and i thought huh i've been getting messages let me explain why if you're just launched if you have a brand new account why you would generate the sale so this seller's just launched if they met the buy, buy box criteria they would get into the rotation and get sales. So I just wanted to show you why that's the case. So it doesn't matter what stage you're at, what point you're at. Yeah, obviously negotiating the pricing, building relationship with suppliers, all that, obviously you're going to be a step ahead. But when it comes to maximizing sales on Amazon, if you understand how Amazon works, how the buy box works, how the algorithm works. Now, nobody knows the exact formula to the buy box, but for the most part, 
if you have a professional account, still FBA, and um, match the buy box price, you're going to get into the buy box rotation of sales. But if you have a general understanding of that, you're already steps ahead of people, of other sellers on Amazon. Now, obviously, this person doesn't really understand how the buy box works, so it's gonna be, they're going to have a tough time selling this product. All right, so I just wanted to pause that video for a second because I wanted to show you. The only time, in my opinion, that I wouldn't buy a product is when there is no buy box on the listing. Because if you're just launched, if you're a brand new seller, you have no ratings, none of that, you want to avoid these listings because I'll show you here when it says available from these sellers and this, the customer would buy, see all buying options. Or simply click here. You click here. And if you say just launched, who do you think they're going to buy from? JB Tools with a 95% rating and 78,000 ratings? Or are they going to buy from you who's just launched and you have no record of it? So stick to products that have a buy box. Stick to products that obviously you can compete competitively. <laughs> compete competitively. Compete based off of price. Um, and try to avoid the ones that don't have a buy box. Typically, just quick thing, um, if they don't have a buy box, usually it means the price is too high for Amazon. Um, so again, if you're just, just launched, if you're a brand new seller, you don't have any ratings yet, don't worry about it. You'll be in the buy box rotation as long as you meet the buy box criteria. Okay, so I just want to make that video real quick because a lot of people are scared to start because of that. No, it doesn't matter. Ratings don't matter because a majority of the customers that shop on Amazon Amazon don't even realize that half the sales on Amazon come from third-party sellers. Okay, so hope this video helps. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to sign up for the free course in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe. Put the bell on because I'm going to be coming out with a lot of content that you're not going to want to miss. Like the video. Comment any questions you have below. Share it. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. What is up online retailers? So short clip here, I'm going to be running giveaways. And what I chose to do was on every single video, I want you guys to comment below and guess which professional athlete's jersey I am wearing in that video. Now remember, only one player per comment. Now, why am I doing this? Because for those of you who know my story, I started way back in the day, I used to f flip NFL, NBA, MLB jerseys that my friend's dad was getting from China, sell them in school, and then I used to sell them on eBay as well with my friend, and made a lot of money off that, a lot of profits, so the reason why I'm doing that is because it kind of matches up with my story, so I wanted to give back, run some giveaways, whether it's giving you a free supplier, free coaching, free course access, whatever it may be, I'm going to be running giveaways. And for the person who guesses the most amount of players, most amount of videos, we will be giving you a prize in return. So again, whatever video you're watching, comment below, guess which professional athlete's jersey I am wearing. And I have tons of jerseys. So make sure to guess them and hopefully you're in this giveaway. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.